Okay, so it's Wednesday morning. My parents are still fast asleep, so let's talk about Jisang. Initially, when I started this channel, I had a need for defending Wujin. That was the basic, um, that was the main reason why I started this channel to begin with. Okay, because I saw a lot of people were ignoring facts and they were using their platforms to either gain views by egging on this drama with Wujin. And so this is why I started my channel. I started my channel because I wanted a platform that would actually defend Wujin because he deserved to have at least someone defend him. So when I started this channel, I made two promises to myself. The first promise was that I was always going to speak my mind no matter what. And if I felt like I couldn't speak my mind on a certain situation, I wouldn't speak about it at all. The second thing I promised myself was that I was going to use this platform responsibly. That means that I was going to make sure that my platform is not a place where we egg on drama for views, but rather we have really mature discussions about certain situations. So if you're incapable of being mature, especially when it comes to really sensitive topics like this, Honestly, honestly, just do me a favor and click off this video because I'm interested in having progressive, mature discussions. I'm not interested in egging on drama. This is not a tea channel. This is not a drama channel. I'm not interested in doing any of that. And the reason why I'm doing this is because, honestly, I'm still surprised at the fact that people have the guts and the audacity to call Jisung a racist. And it's, it's really frustrating to me because as a generation, we have a problem. And this problem is we have a desperate need to always label people something all the time. I don't understand why we do it. We're just obsessed with the fact that we want to label people stuff. And the first time I realized this was this situation with depression. I've spoken about this on my channel more than twice already. I have an issue with people throwing around the term depression. Oh, she's depressed. Oh, he's dealing with depression. When you don't even know whether they're dealing with depression or not. Okay. As someone with two family members who suffered from severe depression, I don't understand why on earth people easily and loosely throw this term around. It's the same thing that I'm seeing here with racism. I'm, I mean, imagine waking up at 530 in the morning and everybody is dragging Han and calling him racist. I mean, I, I just didn't understand why people are so comfortable with using this term. Now, if you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, a video surfaced of a rap that was written by Jisung of Stray Kids. By the way, just to clarify, we're talking about Han Jisung of Stray Kids, not Pak Jisung of NCT Dream. So try not to get those confused because everybody keeps dragging this poor kid into this mess and this is not even his drama. So let's just clarify that. Han Jisung of Stray Kids, okay? He had written a rap when it was... 13 years old, I believe. Yes, 13 years old. And in this rap, he had used the N-word. He had made uh, disparaging comments about mentally ill people. And so these were some ableist comments that he made. He made ableist comments and also some disparaging comments about fat people or plus size people, people on the bigger side. And so, I'm, I mean, I'm waking up at 530 in the morning and you've got Jisung racist, ableist, you know, fat phobic, just, you know, trending everywhere. And I'm like, oh, my God, what happened? So I have one of my group friends, you know, they told me, well, this is the situation. This is what happened. And the one thing I can't seem to figure out is why on earth people are so comfortable with calling him a racist. So I have a problem with people using this term. All right. And I'm going to start by clarifying something. Let's really talk about the definition of racism for a minute, because it seems as if people just love throwing labels and they don't even know what this means. Racism is such a delicate and deep matter. And the fact that people are just willing to, to label him racist, like you can label somebody uh, as a teacher or a doctor or a singer is really frustrating to me. So the definition of racism, just the basic definition, it's defined as the prejudice, the discrimination or antagonism of an individual community or an institution against a person or people on the basis of the membership of a particular race or an ethnic group. So it is a belief, a mindset, a superiority complex that somebody has to make them believe that they are superior or better than somebody else based on either their race or their ethnic group. Okay, so it is a mindset that is built and which is something that I also have to clarify. You have to understand that racism isn't something you're born with. Okay, nobody is born a racist. It is a learned mindset. It's a belief. You learn it over time. All right. So something that can be learned 
that something that can be learned can be unlearned. So let's just clarify that. No one's born a racist. That's not a thing. If you put like a black baby and an Asian baby and a white baby and you put some toys, they're going to play. Okay. They're not going to start looking at each other and going, okay, but like, why does their skin be looking like that? They're not going to do that. So nobody's born a racist. All right. The next thing that I want to define is the N word term originally spelled N I W G E R. It was a, a contemptuous term that was used to, uh, call, black people or dark-skinned people, particularly used against African-Americans during the 18th century a lot. That's when it started. So that's what it is. The word eventually was turned to N-I-G-G-A. Okay, this was black people taking back the power of that word. So you understand by the nature of that word, it is not okay for people who aren't black to use this term. Okay, so that's where the issue with the N-word is. Now, I'm going to say something. This is not going to be easy for me to say, and it sure as hell is not going to be easy for people to hear. Not everyone who said the N-word is racist. Let that sink in for a second. Just because someone has said the N-word doesn't mean that they're racist. You have to understand that. There are a lot of people, young people in particular, when I'm talking young, I'm talking about like minors who said the N word because they thought it was cool because they listen to it in rap music and their favorite rappers are black and they say this term and they think, oh, it's cool. I can say it too. That's where the issue is. There's a lot of people who said this term and they aren't racist. And I've actually met people like that who I had to explain to them why it was not okay to say that term. So you have to understand that not everyone who said the N-word is racist. Please understand that. Racist people do use this term absolutely, but not everyone who's used that word is racist. And the other thing I want to talk about is the fact that people want to, they want to ignore all the other variables in the story. For example, Jisung's age. And I know a lot of people are like, no, I don't want to hear about this age. No, you're going to hear about his age. It plays a huge role in this. Jisung was 13 years old. When he wrote this stuff. And the reason why I'm bringing up his age is that at a very young age, at 13 years old, you don't think with your head. You don't think with your brain. You think with your hormones. You think you know everything. You think you know everyone and nobody can tell you anything. That's usually what happens at 13 years old. And so at 13 years old, you'll see this angry kid who is so desperate to have people hear him and hear his frustrations. And he's writing this stuff. The interesting part is that when you're 20... The things you think about at 13 years old don't even matter. They don't. And case in point, somebody actually mentioned that there was a behind the scenes Stray Kids video in which Jisang talked about how he would look at some of the things he used to write when he was younger at his notebook. And he would just realize how misguided he was as a person. I think about the way I used to think at 13 years old. Y'all, I'm turning 24 in a few months. Okay, some of the ways I used to think at like 13, 14, 15, those are things I don't even think about right now. They don't even matter. They're not a thought in my head. But at 13 years old, there were a whole ideology. You have to understand that in certain surroundings, like a lot of people say, well, when I was 13 years old, you know, I knew you shouldn't say racial slurs. That's because of the environment you grew up in. I knew the N word wasn't cool at eight years old. You know why? Because I'm black. Okay, that's what happens when you're black and you have to deal with racism every single day of your life. You know that the N-word is not a good word. That's something that me and my siblings learned at a very young age. But there are some things that you don't learn based on your surroundings. 13-year-olds in Korea don't always know that the N-word isn't a good word. They don't know that. And I know that people are saying that this is an excuse. Please try to understand that I'm not justifying Jisung's actions. I am not. It's not okay. It wasn't okay for him to use the N-word. It wasn't okay for him to make those disparaging comments about people who are either mentally challenged or people who are fat. It was not okay. You don't get to judge people based on their weight. That is disgusting. But you have to understand that at a particular age, depending on your environment, certain things change. I'll give you a good example. My kid brother, his best friend is South Korean. He was born and raised in Kenya, and he lives in a world in which Chinese people don't exactly have the greatest reputation in in African countries. So every day when he goes to the store or whatnot, he has people, you know, calling his parents China or Chinese all the time. He's four years old. He was four years old when they met. This is not something that four year olds should be dealing with. But because of the environment he's being raised in, he's becoming aware of certain things. He's becoming aware of discrimination and that people are treated differently based on the color of their skin or the way their eyes look. He's learning that. But most kids at four years old don't think like that. 
Most kids at four years old care about their toys and how cute the kid at kindergarten, you know, was and holding hands and whatnot. That's all they care about. They shouldn't be learning about discrimination at four years old. But that's something that he has to deal with because of the place that he's growing up in. So we're talking about this 13 year old kid. He's got stuff going on in his life. We don't know what is going on in his damn life. And he's just so damn angry and he wants people to hear him all the time. So he writes this. I mean, we've all been 13 years old. I'm going to assume that we've all been 13 years old at some point, okay? Majority of my audience is actually between uh, the ages of like 18 and like 24, okay? That's majority of my audience's age. And I often ask myself, think about the kind of person you were at 13 years old. Because when I try to think about how mad I was at 13, I can't even begin to think some of the things I said at 13 years old, I was mad at everybody. I was mad at my dad. I was mad at my mom. I was mad at the situation of the life that I was living in. I was mad at school. I was mad at my teachers. I was mad at God. I was mad at everyone. And there are things that I said that honestly to God, I really wish I could just go to the grave with them. That was me at 13 years old. For people to try and call him a racist, For him saying the N-word at 13 years old, at 13 years old, you don't even think properly. Yes, hold him accountable for saying the N-word. Yes, hold him accountable for his disparaging comments. But don't walk around and say things like, oh, he's racist. You want to label him because he's in the spotlight and it's easier to label other people than to look at your own faults. Nobody judges you for the stuff you did at 13 years old. You know why? Because nobody knows who you are. That's where the issue is. Nobody knows who you are. Your life Whatever it is that you did at 13, nobody knows. So you don't have anyone to judge you. But he's in the spotlight, so it's easier to judge. You know what, <laughs> you know what the D is? The fact that some of y'all have actually said this word. But you're hating on him because you can. You're using the fact that you're anonymous on Twitter and he isn't to your advantage. Chisang was not racist, okay? He was a stupid kid. You've got to understand that there's a difference. I know that we are in a situation where people are always defending their idols for really messed up stuff and we want them to be held accountable. I get it. Believe me, I get it. Okay, it's so frustrating when I see people do certain things and they get away with it. I've spoken about it on my channel all the time. They do this really messed up stuff and their fans defend them just because they can. Believe me, I, I understand that greatly. I get it. But you, you have to look at the other aspects. I'm not going to hold him in this situation more accountable than if you look at, say, people like Wasa. I hold her up to a higher standard because, A, her messed up behavior when she did this, the blackface, the comments and everything, she was older than Jisung was. And she's in actually, she was actually in a position to grow and change and to actually be a better person. And she still chooses not to. So, yes, I'm going to hold her to a different standard than him because this is something he said at 13 years old. Worst part is even before this entire situation came out, he was really talking about how he wasn't proud of the kind of person he was when he was a teenager. So this is clearly someone who's grown from his experience. But, you know, it's just easier for us to hate on him because hating on people makes us feel better about our own mistakes and it helps us run away from our own issues. I get we all have problems, but you don't get to take it out on other people simply because you can't solve your issues.